Let's measure distance using our PicoDev distance sensor and a Raspberry Pi Pico. We'll wire these two together, get some example code working to measure distance in millimeters, and then we'll remix the code to do some decision making. Let's get started. To follow along, you'll need a Raspberry Pi Pico with the pin soldered facing down, a PicoDev distance sensor and expansion board for Raspberry Pi Pico, and a PicoDev cable to connect everything together. Plug your Pico into the expansion board so that the USB connector is on the same side as the two pin battery connector. And just double check that pin number zero on the expansion board is to the left of the USB connector. At the bottom of the expansion board, connect your PicoDev cable and then connect the other end to your distance sensor. And I'm gonna keep everything secure on the PicoDev platform. Then connect to your computer via USB. In the article for this tutorial, find the download section and download the three files that we'll need for this tutorial. Right click each link and select save as. I'm saving mine to a PicoDev folder in my documents. Next, open Thonny and use the file pane to navigate to where you saved your files. If you need help getting started with Thonny, we have a guide for that too. Select the three files with a shift and a click and then upload to. And we can see on the Raspberry Pi Pico, those three files are now uploaded. Come into the shell and press Ctrl D for a restart. And we're now reading distance in millimeters. We even have a plot on the right hand side. If I bring my hand over the sensor, we can get a very stable reading and I can get that to climb up and fall down. In the shell, press Ctrl C to halt the execution. And we'll have a look at what's going on in the example code. Let's work with the file that's uploaded to the Pico. Under the Raspberry Pi Pico menu, I'll double click main.py. The other two files are just PicoDev driver files so that your Pico can communicate with PicoDev devices. And this is a really simple script. We start by importing the PicoDev distance sensor package and also importing a function to create a delay, which is sleep. We initialize disk sensor by calling the initialization function. And then we have an infinite loop. We call dist sensor.read to read the distance in millimeters and assign the result to a variable called dist. And then we just print that. First, we convert dist to a string so it can be easily printed, and then we concatenate onto it the unit, which is millimeters. And that is what you see in the shell here, the distance and then a space millimeters. And then there is a sleep for one tenth of a second. Let's remix this code to change the Pico's behavior. How about we get a different message depending on how close an object is to the sensor? Just after our first print statement, we can enter a new line and use an if statement. If dist is less than, let's say, 100 millimeters, then print really close. Then else if dist is less than 300 millimeters, print close. And finally, else print far. Now if we save the script with control S and reboot with control D, we have the distance in millimeters and then we have another message which, which is telling us how close the obstacle is. So I'm approaching 300 millimeters and once I cross 300, now it reads close. And as I get closer and closer and come up to 100 millimeters, it's really close. And then if I take my hand away, it's far again. Now we've been directly editing the file that's stored on the Pico. And you can tell because the main.py file name is wrapped in these square brackets. That means that the changes we've made are saved only to the file that's on the Raspberry Pi Pico. To back up our changes to our computer, we can control C to stop the execution and then right click that main.py file and download it to our computer, which is going to override the example that we originally downloaded. And now if we open the file in our PicoDev directory, it's updated with the changes that we made. So there you have it, a quick example using the PicoDev distance sensor, and then also including a little bit of branching logic so you can change your program's behavior. If you make anything cool out of this starter project, we'd love for you to share it over on the Core Electronics forums. That's also the best place to ask technical questions. Thanks for watching.